Hey guys, Caleb with White Metal Games here. Today's update is this Gene Stealer Cult Armed Faction. Uh, this is for the new Gene Stealer Cult um, Ally Codex. And we're just going to jump right into this. So a lot of these are kit bashes or conversions that were done particularly for a client that wanted to maximize the use of his army. Um, so first off, from right to left, the client loves the rocker grinder idea, but he didn't like the dozer blade kit. So he wanted us to do him a custom dozer blade. So what we've done here is we've taken a Hades breaching drill. We've combined that with the, um, the regular drill from a Victoria steam engine kit from Victoria Miniatures. And we've put that there on the front. So you've got this massive kind of boring machine. Now, if the regular uh, dozer blade's not enough to do it, this thing will definitely churn through some rock. It does add a lot of weight and, um, and profile to this model, but for this particular client, it's exactly what he was looking for, and I love that about this kit. It's something unique. We do all of our models custom to order, no exception here. In addition to that, the regular weapons are magnetized. So you've got basically your flamer weapon here, and then you've got your seismic cannon, and the front of this thing pops off, and you can also mount up the mining laser to it. And that just goes on literally, just like that. Boop, ready to go. The second one of these is a regular truck, and we also magnetize the auto cannons on this one. So you can take the auto cannons off, put the flamer or the mining laser back on, and the rock grinder on the front also pops off. This is also magnetized. So you can see here we've inserted some magnets on the back to make it nice and magnetized. That way it comes on and off, minimum torque. And uh, in general, you've still got the regular truck that you can use for most games. So it gives you a lot of versatility with the kit, which is nice. If you see that wheel hopping out on the back there, it's because we magnetized uh, the parts, but we left the wheels off for painting purposes. So it's not broken, it's just the way it looks. This limo here is actually a modification of a basic limo from um, a company out in Puerto Rico. They put out some really nice cars and trucks. And they've got what they call their coven limousine or their cult limousine. So as you can see, scale-wise, it's pretty great for 40K. You can see there on the side, it's got three or four different cultists hanging off the top. He's going to count this as a, as a truck in regular games. So we mounted the auto cannons there to the top. Also the heavy stubber there in the front. We manufactured this um, uh, what do you call it, windshield up top there, or sunroof. Uh, and then we've got some cultists hanging off the side there. So it definitely kind of fits the cult uh, coven aesthetic. And on top of that, it looks great on the table. It's going to size right for 40K. Nice looking vehicle. Finally, last but not least, we have this Primus slash Patriarch slash Magus figure. And basically what the client wanted in this case was that when you flip open the codex, there's a picture of this guy right in the front of the book. He wanted something as close to the model there as he could, plus a staff to make it a full-on uh, Magus. So that's basically what we did. We just kit bashed a bunch of different kits together. Um, starting with the Primus and the Magus kit, we took some bits from the Acolyte kit, and we took some bits as well uh, from the uh, regular um, uh, uh, hybrid kit. And so once we put all those together, we had a pretty good rendition of the basic model. Now this one you're going to definitely want to take a look at in photos. The video is only going to come through so clear. But this was a, a really nice use of the existing kits to create something wholly unique. So if you like this kind of thing, contact us at whitemetalgames.com, info at whitemetalgames.com. Until next time. Put your manings where your mouth is.